Ready for another adventure? Today we're going to explore the amazing life of bees. Fact one, did you know that bees have a fascinating social life? When we talk about bees being social insects, it means they live together in large groups called colonies. Each bee in the colony has a special job to do. Just like in a city, everybody has a role in making sure everything runs smoothly. Let's meet the three main types of bees in a honeybee colony, the queen, the worker bees, and the drones. First, the queen bee. She's the mother of most, if not all, the bees in the hive. Her job? To lay eggs in lots of them. She can lay up to 1,500 eggs in a single day. Next, the worker bees. They are all female and they do almost all the work. They collect nectar and pollen from flowers, make honey, build honeycombs, and even care for the queen and her eggs. Finally, the drones. These are the only males in the hive. Their main job is to mate with the queen. Drones are bigger than worker bees, but they do not have stingers. Every bee has a task, and they all work together to keep the hive buzzing along happily. But even bees need to rest. At night, bees sleep in their hive, and they're back to work when the sun rises. Like us going to bed at night and going to school in the morning, each bee contributes to the well-being of the whole colony. It's teamwork at its finest. Fact two, bees can dance. That's right. They use a special kind of dance to communicate with each other. Isn't that cool? Imagine you're a bee and you've just found a super awesome field full of the tastiest flowers. But how would you tell your friends back at the hive? Well, bees have come up with a fantastic solution. They perform a little dance called the waggle dance. If a bee has found a good source of food, it'll come back to the hive and start to dance in a figure eight or a waggle pattern. The direction of the dance shows the direction of the food. For food that's near the hive, bees do a different dance called the round dance. Isn't that clever? It's like they have their own dance language. So next time you see a bee buzzing, remember they're on a mission to take information back to their hive, and they'll share that information through their fancy dance moves. Fact three, bees also dance on flowers. Similar to their dance moves, bees have another special talent, vibrating on flowers. It might sound funny, but it's actually very important. Let's find out why. Have you ever seen a bee land on a flower and start to buzz really fast? It's a clever trick called buzz pollination. When bees buzz from flower to flower, sipping nectar, they also collect tiny grains called pollen on their bodies. Pollen is like flower dust, and it's how flowers make seeds. To make seeds, pollen needs to get from one flower to another. And you know what seeds do, right? They grow into new plants. Some types of flowers, like tomatoes and blueberries, don't let their pollen go easily. They need a special key to unlock it. The bees have that key, their buzz. This makes the flower shake, and the pollen capsules release the pollen. The bee gets covered in this pollen. When it flies off to the next flower, some of that pollen brushes off, pollinating the flower. This means the flower can now make seeds and grow new plants. So buzz pollination is not just an awesome party trick. It's also a crucial way that bees help many of our favorite foods and many beautiful flowers grow. And it's not just food for us. Lots of other animals rely on bees for their food too. From the smallest insect to the biggest bear, many animals would have less to eat without our buzzing buddies. Fact four, making honey is hard and bees are the hardest workers. Bees are nature's tiny superheroes. Let's find out why. When a worker bee finds a good field of flowers, it fills itself up with sweet nectar. Can you guess how many flowers a bee might visit on one trip? It's a big number, up to 5,000. The bee uses its long tube-like tongue to suck the nectar out of the flowers and store it in its special honey stomach. This isn't where the bee digests its food. It's like a little backpack for nectar. When the bee returns to the hive, it passes the nectar to another worker bee. This is where the magic begins. The bees chew the nectar. This process is called regurgitation. Next, the bees spread the now sugary nectar into the honeycomb, which are the little hexagon-shaped wax cells within the hive. The nectar is still pretty watery at this stage, but the bees have a solution. The bees fan their wings to evaporate the water from the nectar. This changes the nectar into thick golden honey. Once it's just right, the bees seal the honeycomb cell with a wax lid to keep the honey clean and protected, like tiny jars made of wax. And that's how we get honey. Each tiny cell of golden honey represents the hard work of many bees. To make just one pound of honey, bees might have to visit two million flowers. So next time you enjoy some honey, remember to thank the bees. 
they've flown the equivalent of more than two times around the world to make that honey for you. We hope you enjoyed these fun facts about our little buzzing friends. Always remember that bees are important. They help flowers grow and they give us yummy honey. And they even know how to dance. Stay curious, keep learning, and always be ready for the next adventure.